Call sheet in order. First item is roll call. Otterman Bammon. Here. Otterman Headley. Here. Otterman Stratton. Here. Otterman Coleman. Otterman Totten. Here. Otterman West. Here. Uh, All right. Uh, next item the invitation was by Jason Williams of the Valley Community Church, followed by Spudge Williams of Alderman Stratton. All right. Father, we thank you for the gift uh, of your son Jesus, who came as a baby. 2,000 years ago, he was born in a manger. God, the, the, the most incredible gift that was ever given. God, ultimately, to sacrifice himself so that we could know a relationship with you. God, we're so thankful for that today. I pray that every person would know uh, what it is to have a relationship through Jesus and the power that comes from that. God, I pray for our city leaders. God, I thank you for those that have willingly accepted this service position, God. I just pray that you would bless them and their families, God, as they serve this community. God, I pray that you would give them wisdom uh, to be able to lead and direct and make decisions for this community, God. God, I pray that uh, not only would they make decisions that, that would be best for this community, but God, I pray that they would make decisions, God, that, that would glorify and honor you. God, may they lead lives uh, that uh, honor you. God, may they always walk in integrity. God, may they encourage us to do the same. God, I pray over this meeting tonight. God, may you bless everything that goes on. God, I thank you for what you're doing in this community. God, and I pray that you would continue to bless it. God, we give you praise for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Next item is the approval of the agenda, <clears throat> and I did want to uh, note one thing, and that is uh, we had discussed the last meeting about the uh, resolution to uh, donate a portion of our uh, December paychecks to uh, charitable foundations here in town, and after the discussion, what we decided to do was, since there are several different uh, you know, charities and people may want to give theirs, different, you know, charitable funds. We, uh, we're going to leave that up to, we have a resolution saying we're going to do it, we'll leave that up to each individual alderman to do as they would wish with that. So if they wish to donate money out of their funds in the December check, we'll just let you do that once you get your check. So instead of having a resolution to set that up. So we thought that might be the best way since there were several organizations. Is there any other no other changes, Mr. Mayor. Okay, so nothing else on the agenda. Uh, seeing no proclamations, then move on to citizens' participation. Uh, we ask the citizens to come forward to the microphone and podium. Uh, give your name and address for uh, the record. Is there anyone who wishes to address the board this evening? Seeing none, move on to the consent agenda. Motion Alderman West approved the consent agenda. Do I have a second? Second. Second Alderman Totten. Any discussion? You say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. See no previous business or new business or presentation or public hearings. And we'll move on to ordinances. Your Honor, the first item is Bill B 18 24. Second reading, it will be ordinance 2452, excuse me, 2451. Uh, and it is an ordinance approving the 2019 fiscal year budget and comprehensive fee schedule, City of Green Valley, Missouri. Second reading, it will be ordinance 2451. Okay, I move that we accept the Bill B 18-24 for second reading. What happened to Bill 18-24? Yeah, well, there is some... I thought we were going to table yeah, we need to after we, discuss, or after a motion. We, yeah, we, we, still, we need to read 18-23. I thought that was cool. There's some miscommunication. Bill B 18-23, second 
second reading, it will be ordinance 2451. Is that right, Teresa? Yeah. Yeah, it'll be 2451. Yeah, we're good. Yes. Yeah. All right. And that is an ordinance. Board of Aldermen, City of Green Valley, authorizing the city administrator to establish the 2019 full time and part time pay schedule. Second reading, it will be ordinance 2451. Is that correct, Teresa? Mm hmm. And I move that we accept Bill B 18 23 for its second reading, making it ordinance number 2451. I have a motion, Mom and West, to approve Bill B18-23 for a second reading, makes an ordinance 2451. Do I have a second? Second. Second. Headley? Discussion? Mr. Mayor, members of the board, just uh, wanted to, before we have the second read on this this evening, uh, there are a few items that, that staff wants to continue to work on as far as uh, job description development that's included in the exhibit, as well as uh, you know, the implementation of this has been stripped away from the actual setting of the scale. So the board um, needed to set a scale so we could move forward with the 2019 budget. Uh, and as part of that, we went ahead and started down the road to pass the scale. Uh, the longer that we, we talked about it and the more discussion that we had uh, about how long it would take or when we would get the salary scale in place, uh, we were worried there would be a, a period of, of adopt it, adopting the, the new scale uh, and implementation where we would be hiring employees in at a new higher rate, but we don't have an implementation plan yet for the existing employees. And that's just going to make the compression problem that we have even worse. So after talking to staff and um, the, several of the elected officials, we thought perhaps we could just go ahead and table the second read of this. Um, not for it to go away, but that way we can bring it back for a second Thanks. reading when we have the compensation portion of it worked out, uh, and we'll, we'll approve both at the same meeting. So with that in mind, uh, my recommendation was going to be that we table this until uh, the compensation implementation is ready. I do have a question concerning concerning that also is what is the employee exit rate for the city? I know Springfield has recommended that everybody gets a raise, but what is our actual exit rate? I'd say probably it's about 25 to 30 percent every year. So when we look back at 2017 and 18, we actually Kalila's finishing up those documents that you requested right now. Uh, but over 2017 and 2018, we had 36 employees leave. Uh, now we have a voluntary, and I actually made a copy of this as well for, for the board in case you want to know a little bit more about it. We have a voluntary exit interview process, which is offered to employees. Uh, since I have been here, I have yet to have an employee do the written copy. I've had a few employees that actually sat down to do an exit interview with me that was casual, uh, non-formal, just to get their feedback. Most recently, Joshua Jenna uh, from the police department uh, had an exit interview two weeks ago. So um, as far as the percentages go, uh, like I said, about 25 to 30 percent of our workforce is turned over uh, every year, and, and that's a, a total of 37, 36 employees over the last two years. So is that across the board, or is there any one particular area? Yeah, I I don't have that analysis complete yet, just because we, we finally finished collating the data just right between or right before the, the meeting. So uh, I knew that I could get the exit interview portion of your question answered this evening. Um, I don't have the analysis done. I know that the numbers. I couldn't tell you by which department, though. We'll be able to after the meeting. Does that include any, everybody or anybody that has been fired? Numbers? Yes, so our, it's our total separation within the <coughs> last two years. Okay. Yeah. And that does include some part-time uh, employees, which you see higher turnover in part-time positions as well. Um, but once I have all of the data completed and I'm actually able to sit down and look at it, I'll be able to give you a more comprehensive answer as to where, where that's occurring at. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Yeah, if you don't want to say any more questions, we'll entertain a motion to the table. So moved. Yeah, I have a motion, Marvin Heather, to approve bill or to uh, table bill B18-23. Do I have a second on the motion to table? Second. Second on the motion by Oliver Totten. Any discussion on the motion to table? Seeing none. All in favor of the table, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Okay. One thing though, before we move on with that. Just because uh, I was thinking, you know, January 1st is, is rolling around, and that's normally the time that you know employees would get uh, would get their raise. And due to this, you know, this may stretch out to February or March. Uh, no matter what plan we went with, we were looking at you know at least 2.6% uh, cost of living raise. Uh, my recommendation would be if someone would like to make a motion is that we go ahead and approve. It's, I mean, it's all there in the budget already. So let's go ahead and approve the 2.6% COLA effective January 1st. So employees do get a raise at the start of the new year. And then whenever we get the implementation of the new plan in, they would get that raise at that point. But we wouldn't go back and retroactive like they're raised the first year. They're raised against the first year in 2.6 and then anything additional they would get would be when the plan was implemented. So moved. Yeah, we got motion from Alderman Bam and then to approve the 2.6 percent effective January 1st. I have a second. Second Alderman West. Any discussion on that? Okay. All in favor of them please say aye. Aye. All opposed same sign. I think you Abstain. Okay. Abstain. Okay. So the four one of one. Abstain. Right. That's on the just the oral okay. motion. All right. Bill B18-24, second reading, the ordinance two four five two. Ordinance approving the 2019 fiscal year budget, comprehensive fee schedule, City of Green Valley, Missouri. Second reading, Ordinance 2452. May I move that we accept Bill B18 24 for second reading, making it Ordinance Number 2452. Is it 51? Is it 51? So this will be 2451. This is what he did before. So I have those all the way. 2451 was stable. Yeah, but it didn't become ordinance. So this will be 2451, then, right? That's the way she wants to do it. How you want to do it? Technically, you table 2452. So there's a 2452. Okay, so we'll just keep it. 2452. All right. I have a motion to approve Bill B18-24 for second reading, making the ordinance. Four, five, two. Have a second. Second. Then Alderman Headley. Any discussion? Mr. Mayor, members of the board, um, I don't know what I could possibly add at this point. We've talked about the budget for several months now. Uh, had a couple budget work sessions on it. Uh, with your second approval vote tonight, this will just be the um, official approval of the 2019 fiscal year budget. Uh, it'll also be setting the comprehensive. Uh, fees for all of the city as well. I'm happy to entertain any questions you may have. Do you have any discussion or questions? Right. Seeing none, all in favor, please say aye. aye. All opposed, same sign. Uh, Mammon? Yes. Headley? Yes. Cotton? Yes. Stratton? Yes. West? Yes. Five zero mayor. Bill will read Bill B18-25, first reading, an ordinance amending the budget, City of Green Valley, Missouri, fiscal year 2018, first reading. And I recommend that we accept the B18-25 for its first reading and bring it back by title only for its second reading. I have a motion on West to approve Bill B18-25 for its first reading, bring it back by title only for its second reading. I have a second. Second. Second, Alderman Bammon. Any discussion? Mr. 
Mr. Mayor, <clears throat> members of the board, this is more of a housekeeping item that we do at the end of each year. Um, we take the current year's budget, look at the expenditures and the revenues, and uh, just amend it to accurately reflect what uh, has occurred throughout the year. One item that you will notice is that uh, we did increase the general fund budget by $90,000 to account for the transfer uh, to the TIF, TIF reserve fund. We, if you recall, we had discussion about that, about allocating the additional $90,000 this year. That way we would be able to drop that from future year's budget since we had met that, that reserve policy for the TIF fund. Um, and then we've also uh, made amendments uh, per for the CID budget approvals for uh, Marketplace CID Project 2 and the Marketplace TIF Project 1A expenditures were increased by 85,131 to reimburse the general fund for the TIF setup fees per the TIF agreement. So with all of that being said, we are presenting this, uh, the 2018 budget for its final amendment uh, of the year. Seeing none, all fair, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. 5 0 first. Second reading, Bill B 18 25. It will be Ordinance 2453. It is an ordinance amending the budget, City of Green Valley, Missouri, fiscal year 2018. Second reading, Ordinance 2453. And I move that we accept Bill B 18 25 for its second reading, making it Ordinance number 2453. I have a motion on the West to approve Bill B18 25 for its second reading, make an ordinance 2453. Do I have a second? Second. Second, Alderman Headley. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Hammond? Yes. Headley? Yes. Cotton? Yes. West? Yes. Stratton? Yes. <coughs> resolution R18-46 mm -hmm. is a resolution by the Board of Aldermen, City of Great Valley, authorizing the City Administrator to enter into an agreement with Springstead Waters for Executive Search Services. Resolution R18-46. I move that we accept resolution R18-46 as read. I have a motion to Alderman West to approve resolution R18-46. Do I have a second? Yes. Yes. Second, Alderman Stratton. Any discussion? Mr. Mayor, members of the board, this uh, resolution is, was prepared uh, this evening to uh, for the board to consider executive search services for the position of police chief. Uh, for Green Valley. As you know, we went out uh, and advertised back in August of this year and no bids were received for the position. Uh, spoke to several different groups uh, about headhunting services and was finally able to get Springstead Waters to submit a, uh, a proposal for the, for the recruitment. Um, the amount for the proposal is 24500 due to um, the, the amount that, that it would cost for that. And based off of my, my satisfaction uh, with the existing interim police chief, staff does not recommend uh, approval of this ordinance. I'm uh, happy to answer any questions that you may have. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. All opposed, same sign. Aye. 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 Paul. Hammond? No. West? No. Headley? No. Cotton? No. Stratton? No. Five zero, no. Next item is the attorney's report. That's in the report, Your Honor. Thank you. Next item is the city administrator and staff report. Mr. Mayor, we will start with uh, Mr. Davies. Uh, Mayor and board, just real quick, uh, effective January 1 of next year, we're adjusting our community center hours of operation. Uh, we've uh, historically, at least since 2006, we've opened up at 5.30 a.m. to 8 a.m.
a.m. Uh, well, actually 5.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. Monday through, through Friday. Uh, we're actually eliminating the opening at 5.30 a.m. and now opening at 8 a.m. Um, when the building was first built back in 2001, the hours were at 8 a.m. across the board seven days a week. Uh, in 2006, we adjusted it to try to capture um, those individuals that work eight to five, the opportunity to come in early in the morning, work out, and then still have time to get to work. Uh, but as the years progress, we, we have less and less people coming in between that 5.30 a.m. to 8 a.m. Uh, shift to warrant mm -hmm. or to justify us uh, opening up at, at those times. So I just wanted to, to let you all know, I know some of you have got uh, some contact from some of our members um, that use the facility about it, um, but just wanted to let everyone know Effective January 1 will open at 8 a.m. Uh, instead of 5.30 a.m. Monday through Friday. It's been posted at the community center since uh, December 1st. And of course, we'll get stuff on our website updated and information on this pushed out on Facebook as well. So that's all I have. Mrs. Ozenbaugh. Um, just a reminder to everyone that election filing for 2019 begins tomorrow at 8 a.m. and we'll close on January 15th. Um, so anyone interested in refiling or filing for the first time can come to City Hall and Kalila or I will take care of you. Oh, I guess I'm like a ghost in our system. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Teresa, yeah. what were those dates again? Um, January, or I'm sorry, December 11th to January 15th. And it um, is, you will be placed on the ballot in order that your filing is received. I just have a couple things, Mr. Mayor. First and foremost, uh, just want to let um, any of those who may not have, have heard uh, about Jim Kissick's passing over the weekend. Um, that is uh, heartbreaking uh, to have a pillar like that. and in the region uh, pass away and to lose him suddenly. Uh, Mr. Cook, I'm very sorry. I know he was a very good friend of yours personally. So uh, I want to let everybody know that the, the arrangements for Mr. Kissick uh, will be Friday, December 14th will be his wake. Uh, and that's from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, it's going to be at St. Peter's Catholic Church. And then the mass uh, and funeral will be at St. Peter's Catholic Church on Saturday. December 15th, starting at 10 a.m., uh, with the burials being followed at uh, Mount, Mount Olivet Cemetery, thank you, Nancy, uh, and a celebration of life uh, held afterwards at St. Teresa's, where Mr. Kissick was uh, very engaged at the, the board level and um, was a part of his life. So uh, there's really nothing to, to say to follow that up. We uh, do have a group of staff that will be going down there. Um, if anybody would like to get a ride or go along with uh, me, I'm, I'll be going Friday and uh, to the wake and then Saturday to the, the funeral as well. And then um, uh, on another note, uh, our Christmas party um, this year, we have Mr. Cook is providing the staff Christmas party uh, on Thursday the 20th. That will uh, start at 12 o'clock noon. That's the annual uh, lunch that Jim treats us to. We're very appreciative for that, Jim. Uh, I would encourage any of, of you guys to come and attend if you would like. And then on the 21st, we have the City Hall uh, Employees Christmas Party, and that starts at 11 p.m. Uh, again, would definitely encourage we'll go, you guys to we'll go, we'll go at 8. 11 a.m. I'm sorry. We're <laughs> <laughs> going to go all night long. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so that'll start at 11 a.m. Uh, they have a police escort to get home with this. Yeah, yeah. We'll find a way to get you home. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. So uh, that's all I have, Mr. Mayor. Right. Next up is Board of Alderman Reports and Comments. Alderman Stratton. Alderman Totten. Just wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. Alderman Headley. Alderman West. Just want to say thank you to the staff that put up all the Christmas lights. They really look beautiful and cold. You all did a beautiful job and got put in. Alderman Mammon. Nothing to report, Mr. Mayor. 
Uh, next up, marriage reports. Uh, I did want to let everyone know that we did uh, receive a letter of resignation from uh, Alderman Coleman, uh, effective November 27th, uh, since he's been elected as the House of Representatives uh, starting in January. So uh, we do need to take action on that and approve that resignation. So I will entertain a motion to approve the resignation. Mm -hmm. Got a motion from Alderman Bamman to approve Alderman Coleman's resignation on the board. Do I have a second? Second. Second Alderman Totten. Any discussion? All right. Seeing none in, all in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. All right. Uh, I know we do have a need for an executive session for personnel. So. Anything else? <clears throat> no, sir. All right. So I will entertain a motion to adjourn into executive session. So moved. Second, Alderman Headley. Do I have a second? Second. Second, Alderman Totten. Any discussion? Okay. Seeing none, all three, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Alderman Stratton. Alderman Totten. Yes. Alderman Headley. Yes. Alderman West. Yes. Alderman Bannon. Yes. All right. We'll adjourn the executive session.